All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope we are doing well. So welcome to day two of week three of the SGS phase. And we are going to do our normal standard routine where we go through how was yesterday and what's the plan with the job applications today. So with yesterday, um, we are going to share on three things, basically. The first one, we had a session on um, GitHub repository and how to perfect it, like how to develop an excellent GitHub repository. Uh, just tell us how is it going on your site yet? And also the second one is um, how was the job application? You know, are you still using Leap uh, despite different bugs we are facing? Or have you also looked into um, other outside uh, job applications that you can find? That's the second question. And the third one, are you recording them on tanks? I believe we have received a, a loom video walkthrough on how we are going to be doing it specifically on tanks. So yeah, let's go ahead and then we share on those three things. Who is ready to go first? Yes, Anouk, go ahead. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, yeah, you know, so about the GitHub, uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think there was, uh, I might be wrong, but I don't think there was any tutorials, right? Uh, if there was, I missed it, but I don't think there was any. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe you guys can uh, tell me. Uh, about the uh, job application, uh, I did use Leap, but I faced a few bugs. The first one was uh, I, I had put on my profile uh, the, a few days ago, but when I checked it now, the, it wasn't there, so I put it back in. Uh, and then uh, some of the job applications did not display the match score. Some of them did, but some of them did not. Uh, and then uh, after I super liked some of them, uh, it, it did not generate any CVs or cover letters. When I tried, it just says uh, it doesn't exist or some some sort of error. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you. All right, uh, I'm so it's going to be helping us on that. But before we go to that. So I just realized it was not a session, it was an announcement. And the announcement has also been shared by Rehmet, like the clarification in all SGS month one channel. So let's go check it out. Aside from that, uh, have you started to explore other job applications outside Leap? Uh, not really, I, I did apply to one job, but I wouldn't say I explored it, it's just, uh, no, no, I haven't been exploring it. Okay, all right. Um, what was the plan today? Uh, the plan today is to apply to more jobs uh, and uh, hopefully the, like, also explore other types of uh, applications in, in, in addition to Leap. Okay. Uh, all right, so remember that on a daily basis, we get to have 10 application goals per day. So if you even if you also haven't completed yesterday's, try to catch up and do maximum 20 and a minimum of something close to 20. Can we do that today? Yeah, uh, I would definitely try to do that uh, yesterday. Uh, like some of the jobs on Leap, I think two or three of them had uh, expired, like the ones I super liked. Mm -hmm. So I did not manage to apply to 10, but yeah, I will try to do No, I mean, uh, with the fact that we can look into uh, uh, other job applications outside Leap, that's where I'm referring to. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. 
Okay, all right. So uh, looking forward to hearing from you tomorrow on how, um, you know, if you managed to hit the numbers and how we went with submitting quality applications and everything. Cool. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, Abdullah Hamid, I saw your hands up. Did you want to say something before we proceed? Yeah. Uh, hi, Pascal, and hi, everyone. I think you answered the question well. The reason that there was no session for the GitHub uh, announcement yesterday because it was because you, you, you already had a session for the GitHub uh, repository uh, profile earlier on week. Uh, I think on week one, I have on week one, Ramat gave a session on that. So maybe if you can go back and see that session, it's basically what you'll have to do for this week. So the challenge documents does outline what you have to do for this week, but the tutorial session has been given for the challenge documents. Back on week one, uh, if you remember, back on week one, we wanted you to select six GitHub repositories and perform uh, optimizations on those, like localization, uh, creating uh, make files and and others. So, but due to use the complexity of the challenge, you wanted to reduce uh, the expected outcome from the challenge to, to just be uh, creating a, a proper readme and just improving the file and folder structure. But this time around, we want you to select at least a single repository and make those improvements that were men mentioned on the sessions that Rahmat gave last time and also this has been uh, this has been put on the challenge document so you can refer to that as well so this week we will be improving a single github repository but like we want you to actually dive deep into the project and implement like as much as you can the improvements that are mentioned on the uh, challenge document and okay it's clear now Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. You are. I, I know. Well, is it was it clear or? Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Uh, before I also forget this one, if you haven't booked your one-on-one -on -one with Aaron. We go through it, it is it's going just to be a brief discussion on how SGS is going so far. Uh, what you think and if you talk of anything you you want us to do better or you want us to change, basically how it's going just in general is going to be an informal conversation. Please go ahead and check the link shared by Rodas in on SGS Month One channel and then book your slot there. Okay. Then we can proceed to Ahmed. Hello, good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Uh, okay, uh, yesterday uh, I checked the document shared by Ahmed for GitHub Challenge, but uh, it was uh, discovering and just learning about the uh, make file uh, I didn't apply it yet uh, also for the job I discovered that uh, I lost most of the job I applied for because uh, I thought when I click apply from LinkedIn it will be saved as applied job but uh, it looked like if the job required you to go to uh, the company website it will not be saved as uh, applied job in linkedin so it took me time to remember jobs that uh, i applied for and to track them and add them to 10x so uh, i wasted most of time doing this uh, also uh, i was interested in a in a company before a few days and finally get uh, some accepted uh, connection request so I was trying to talk to people who work in this company to to know more about it and uh, to to increase my chances when when I apply for for their internship I think uh, that's all 
Okay, I'm missing Ahmed. Abdul Ahmed, anything you want to see? Not really. Was there a question? Now, with the challenges uh, he faced. I'm sorry, Abdul Rahman, maybe can you repeat the challenge? Okay, uh, actually, the challenge I faced is uh, related to, to LinkedIn, not Lib. So I thought uh, every job I applied to from LinkedIn, it will be saved in my uh, as applied job. But uh, I discovered that oh, uh, if LinkedIn, if I I go to the company website uh, and apply there, it will not be saved. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Got your question. I thought it was connected to Leap. All right, so we linked in. Uh, it's not connected to tax, of course, and you will not. I, I don't know if it's going to go into your into a certain feature under your job feature on LinkedIn. I'm not sure about that. What I know is that we have to do it manually. So with every application that is done, then you go put on the information on tanks manually, manually. So that, that that's the process I know so far. You don't know if there is anyone who knows any other quick link, I mean, any other way we can link them both automatically. But what I know is that we do it manually. Yeah, so, okay. so just to add up on this, I think the best way to do it is once you apply to a job, before going to another job, you go to 10x and just record the application and then you move on to the next job. Yeah, basically. Um, okay, and uh, Ahmed, when you say that it was taking you a long time, can you take us through how you were doing it specifically? Because I don't think it should be taking you that long. Uh, actually, the time I took is uh, to catch up uh, what what job that uh, I applied for because uh, some jobs uh, send you this automatic message where we received your application and uh, we we reviewing it and this stuff so it's easy to to track it uh, through email but uh, other jobs uh, didn't do that when you applied so uh, it took me some time to, to remember what i applied for exactly okay yeah so that's why it's very important to use uh, the thanks feature that you know the one that we shared the loom video please go check it out again i just posted it uh, again in a, oh in the channel sds math one that's why it's very important so because we are doing so many applications it's very hard to remember which company you applied on and which cv and which cover letter did you submit and also basically like everything about it so that's why it's better that after every application you just copy paste all information and upload them on text for better tracking because like you said majority of the companies do not send any reception email for you to know that they actually received your application and of course it's so hard for you to remember that you even submitted to that company after some days and also that might cause uh, you to at some point meet the same application link and then you again submit maybe even different information this time and that will contradict what you said before so let's use that thanks feature just to track the applications we are doing it's basically just uploading the information it doesn't have to take you longer it doesn't even have to take you more than two minutes because you have everything to you you need to upload there so yeah that's the first one. Also, the second best use of using the tanks feature, the, the one showed on Loom, is because you also allow us to see what kind of applications you are do, you are doing outside Leap. Because within Leap, we have those data, but outside Leap, we do not have any control or, or we do not get to know what you are applying to. So it's better that we also get visibility so that 
you know, we see what kind of applications are you submitting and to which companies. And we have also people who have different connections. So you might never know that we may find a company that maybe we know someone who works there. Maybe they've been to an academy or maybe they are, you know, they know Arun. Arun has like a very big network. So maybe Arun can see if they can jump in and, you know, put in a word for you. That's not promising, but I'm telling you what we have realized from people who have kept successfully uploading their, their job application information on Planks. So let's ensure what we do that for those two big sole purposes. Um, okay. Aside from that, talking about LinkedIn, I think, I'm not sure if you have clarified this before, but I like the way that you are going, you are checking LinkedIn page, see the openings that they have, and then you move ahead and go to, uh, you, you move ahead and then go to the company website to apply from there directly. That's a very good move, very good move. It's better than hitting easy apply. Yes, easy apply is an option to many companies, yes, but also sometimes it's not a best option. Sometimes it's not the best option. So just because it's just easy apply, you do not get the opportunity to put in more information or to talk about yourself or to sell yourself as you would like. So it's better that you do not do easy apply, just click the link that goes to the application directly and then apply from there. Majority of the time it will be on the company website or it will be on a third party job posting platform like Greenhouse or anything. Just where the, po where the job is posted um, in the first place. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I hope nobody's hitting easy apply. It's not a good option, even though it's an available option. But we have very application goals per day, 10 applications. So let's invest time just to submit quality applications, not fast applications. Great. Um, yeah, we can continue. Who wants to go next? All right, one, Tara. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, Pascaline, I wanted to ask a, a question. I wanted to, is there a way you can, uh, I don't know, share some information on how to create a cover letter? Because on uh, when I got the company website, it's something that I, I have the jobs, I've served them, but uh, I want to know how to create like an individual cover letter for each company and their roles. Yeah, 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 so today, thanks for bringing that up. Today we are going to be having a session on cover letter. We will do the tutorial and then examples of the best cover letters and, you know, everything. According to the JDs, the same job, job description we used for interview preparation. We are going to do the same exercise, trying to create their specific cover letters today. So, yeah, looking forward to that. I wonder if you can actually continue and tell us how was yesterday and what's the plan with the job applications today? Uh, I've, uh, I've been, uh, had a very, a very unproductive weekend because I had a uh, power outage from Saturday to yesterday as well. It got back late, so I have been working on the, on the lead code challenge, the data structure, because I hadn't started working on it because of the outage, so I've been working on that one. And then I've, I've also set up the, my lip properly because I don't know, I was having issues, but now I've set it up, I've set it up. So, but I had, uh, there's some jobs I'd saved from LinkedIn earlier, earlier within, within like, a, a bit like that I'd saved within the weeks. So I wanted to try to apply to them, but then I realized I don't have a cover letter, so I've decided, I think after today, I'll get to apply to them as well and to the other. But also I'm having a bit of, a, of, of an issue is that I don't know, uh, I don't know if, 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 you, if people can, sh if you can share like um, the roles uh, for like a data engineer is expected to, to do at entry level. 
so that I can I can really have like clarity because I keep on finding I keep finding roles and like some of the stuff is uh, I, I'm not really sure if it's if I fully understand like these are the roles that I would do at entry level because all of them should build they should build deploy maintain a pipeline and all that stuff so. I want to maybe maybe there's some information to share that that can let me know that these are part of the roles you do at entry level, or I just apply to, to most of them, and then I'll get to know if I fit if I fit the job if I if that's if I get an interview or not. I don't know if that's the, if that's how it's supposed to be. So that's also something that I, I would like to understand. Well, one question before maybe I pass this to to Lahmed. Uh So, we, we with the fact that you said they they focus on if you are able to deploy, to develop, to maintain. So, when you look at the job description, do you see yourself fitting into them? At what percentage? Like, what made you think that maybe there are specific junior DE roles? Do you feel like you're not getting more roles where you are fit, like even on an eighty percent rate? Mm, uh, um, most of most of that that I see are cloud. There's a, they're doing a lot of cloud, a lot of cloud, and we didn't really do as much cloud. So I've, I've been doing a, I've been doing a bit of cloud on my own to add to add to to to, to what I know. But I don't know, like the roles are very they're different depending on every single company like you you every single company is very completely very very different okay I, I, and i understand that but i don't know maybe uh, I, I don't know I, I was just asking if they're like specific things i should focus on or at entry level just focus on yeah so you know that's that's what i wanted to know okay say anything you want to add or should I note this down for further discussion later? Yeah, so I think maybe if we can have like a stock session with a data engineer, maybe I think that's the right person to answer this question. Someone that's working on the team and can and maybe have give a certain roadmap for that. So let's not that not not sort down and Maybe we'll set up a desktop session with a data engineer. Okay, absolutely. Uh, checking quickly, we have uh, a job gossip session tomorrow. So let me alert Emptina so that she can include that in the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, in terms of the speed, okay. Okay. Um, uh, what other question did I want to ask you on there? Let me click. Okay, no worries. Let's continue for now. Anyone else who wants to share? How was yesterday with the applications specifically and what's the plan for today? All right, Johannes. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. So I don't got much to share since I was I wasn't available uh, yesterday. Uh, I had uh, in person interview for a local company, and since it wasn't in my city, I had to go there and did interview and come back. So that's why I wasn't available. And uh, other than that, uh, I think it was about six months ago I applied for. Uh, machine learning internship at a company called uh, <coughs> Icog Lab, and uh, they send us a message uh, if we are uh, ready for an interview or if we can do an interview. So I will probably do another interview in the in these two weeks. And uh, plan for today is maybe to catch up on yesterday and to start. Uh, or to continue applying to another jobs. Okay, perfect. And uh, how did the interview yesterday go? What was the name of the position? And can you come again with the name of the company as well? 
so the company uh, I applied was uh, Inform Africa. And the role is, it's, it's another internship, the role is a machine learning engineer. And for interview, I think uh, it went well, but I struggled with answering a conceptual question. Like uh, they were telling me to explain it, like as if I was uh, explaining it to a non technical person. And I struggled with that. Uh, but other than that, it went well. And the second company is called Icogla. Okay, maybe if we can allow you, like, uh, uh, like one minute just to take us through so that we can understand that experience as well. Like, what was the question that you were supposed to explain to a non technical person? So, they uh, like they gave me an example scenario. Like, uh, uh, let's say we have this kind of data, and uh, he told me, like, what we what will you do with that? And I was asking him, what is the aim of the project? And uh, he was telling me, like, uh, we don't have any idea, but what will what what can you do with that kind of data? And I was answering it, uh, I was answering that question, uh, mainly like in the code wise i will do this i will do that but i don't think uh, there was uh, they wanted to answer that they went they wanted me to answer like that and they want me like to answer the idea what can i do with that and yeah i struggled with that to answer like i was answering to any technical tip and other question they asked me was uh, a common question is what is the difference between supervised and unsupervised uh they asked me about some of the experience i had i told them about what i did in ten academy and they asked me about uh i think python pandas uh, if i had any experience with that uh uh yeah uh, these are some of the questions they asked all right thanks for sharing and I, I think that's like a new experience shared since the start of the sgs you know so i i hope all of us took notes just in case you end up in the same situation where you are asked that question so basically understanding how you ex you can explain your work we I mean, your work, your any part of work to a non-technical person in a very easy to understand way. So uh, we, we should take that as an assignment and uh, keep asking yourself that same question and keep trying to understand if you can be able to actually that que answer that question. Okay. Uh, all the best, Johannes, keep us updated. And also if you can share that update in, uh, or in the channel let me check yeah on sgs math one channel that would be super okay all right uh yeah Bess, you can take it away okay good morning everyone uh so uh, yesterday i didn't i didn't do much on applying i uh, i just uh, applied for one job and uh, I also talk to different person in LinkedIn. Uh, hopefully, I will get uh, at least an internship uh, for a project. Uh, I think today I will more focus on applying uh, for di uh, uh, for different jobs so that I could uh, reach to uh, ten jobs per day. And I also was reading for the. Or the technical document for the GitHub repository uh, for a, for uh, advancing it. So uh, hopefully I will also will work on that and able to submit on Friday. That's it. Okay. Thanks for sharing the updates, Yabis. And uh, yeah, let's make the goal for today. Uh, let, let's try to achieve the goal for today. It's 10 plus the numbers your dean achieved yesterday. Try to push yourself so that you can 
uh, increase your probability of success with the many numbers of applications you can do. Okay, so let's use the rest of the minas for uh, Daisy, Grace, and Sheila. Daisy, can you hear us? Uh, yes, yes. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday, I applied to about to eight jobs, and uh, I had applied to two on over the weekend. So I added them on ten X, and I added four other four externally from LinkedIn, and the others were tracked automatically from me. Yeah. So most of the jobs that I applied for yesterday were in data. So today I want to focus more on my track in GenAI. Yeah. And I also made a connection on LinkedIn with a senior data scientist at Delberg and uh, we've scheduled a chat for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well done on your network, well, LinkedIn networking. But to understand it better, why are you applying to roles outside your track? At first, it was because when I looked at the responsibilities in the job description, I could, I saw that I could do them. Yeah, but now I'm seeing that it's kind of becoming a distraction and I want to more focus on my track. Because then I, ha I had to prepare another CV for data. Okay. Yeah, I, I also suggest, yes, there are some other tracks responsibilities that you can do, but you also trust Gen AI for a big reason, for a big reason, which was your personal reason as well. So I suggest that we focus on the tracks we selected because later the management can be hard. You know, you may start to get different interviews in DE and then in GI, in Gen AI, and then keeping changing your script for different interviews and examples and different things you might find yourself you know contradicting yourself or not even submitting the best or giving your 100 percent best in each interview because you're trying to juggle around so i suggest that we keep with the tracks that we chose focus on them um you know, let's make it our, our big priority rather than looking into um, in the tracks. Yeah, but I, I like the way that you also could see that. Okay. All right, so Sheila, how about... Okay, Musa. Uh, I just wanted to add, there are some jobs that you might think you'd be able to do them if you were given a chance. Even though your your track, your selected track is different from the job, if, if the content that's written on the job description, you think you can do it, I mean, I don't see uh, a problem with applying to that job. If, if you think, if you believe that you are fit for the job um, and you can do what's written on the job description. You have a, at least a certain experience in that, and you think you are fit for the job. You can apply to that job. I don't see a problem in that. But just uh, maybe, maybe, like as Kevin said, if you give your application to the selected track, to the track you selected, and if along the way you find a job that is still it's not inside the track you selected, but you believe. You are a good fit to that job. I say it wouldn't hurt to apply to that job. Um, at the end of the day, what we want is getting a job, right? So if you think you believe, if you believe that you can, uh, you can successfully, you can successfully accomplish what's written on the job description. I say go ahead and apply. Uh, but like Pascal said, maybe give most of the time. Uh, most of the time to the track you selected. If you say a job, I mean, along, along the way, 
that you think that it's it's still outside the track, but you can achieve what's written there, saying go ahead and apply. Okay, Chris, how about you? How have been the interviews going? Okay, oh, sorry, Sheila, you can go ahead first. Um, hi, everyone. Sorry for that. Um, I hope you can hear me. Uh, so for me, when it comes to the application part, uh, I was doing a short listing of the jobs that I would like to apply to, apply to, sorry, and the track I chose was Gen AI. So mostly I was gravitating towards that part because, yeah, like as you said, there's a reason why I picked the track. And so I started with Leap at first, so I kept giving, doing likes and uh, super liking them. But so far I've only super liked like three jobs and two of them, I didn't meet the percentage to generate a CV, but one of them I did. But when I tried to access the link, the link wasn't opening. Also, the generated CV, the cover letter and the folder option, they all lead me to a, a blank space. So yeah, but then I decided to go to LinkedIn whereby I found jobs that were more centered to my track and jobs that I felt like I met the requirements a bit. So I also saved them. And for, yeah, yeah. So as for Leap, the other thing for Leap is I keep getting, I don't know why, maybe I, I think it's because of my qualifications. I don't know why. I keep getting data analyst jobs. And like there was a time I kept getting the same five jobs. Like even if I skip, I still get the same five jobs. But that was rectified yesterday because yesterday when I was doing it, I was getting bet more jobs. But also this five, the same five jobs kept repeating themselves because like I could notice it's the same company, the same job description, and there were jobs I kept skipping because like I, I didn't resonate with the requirements and the rules as well. So my plan for to, my plan for today is to apply to the ones I had shortlisted and maybe apply to more than 10 because I feel like I'm behind time and yeah because most of the what i was focusing on last week was trying to work on the lead code challenges because i realized it's a huge part of um, the application process because like some companies will give you lead code challenges for you to work on as part of the application process and i just wanted to be ready and it was a bit hard but i'm working on it and yeah that's me thank you Okay, great. Thanks for sharing, um, Sheila. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to add something with Sheila. We know there are some jobs that are coming um, repeatedly, so we are trying our best to fix those. We also know some of the cities that are getting generated lead, lead to a blank space. So we are working hard to fix those issues. We we'll let you know once those are fixed. In the meantime, go ahead and apply to jobs outside of Leap as well. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Grace, if you can follow. Uh, good morning, everyone. I have been doing applications, but not as much as I want to. I think I'll pick up the pace back on Thursday. I applied for like four yesterday. Yeah, that's it. No, okay. uh, can you come again, Chris? And also, if you can share your experience with the interviews done, it will be super. Uh, I had to, to sign an undisclosure agreement on the exact questions asked, so I'm not sure how far I should go in sharing, but it was more on, like topical, it was more on, uh, they were grouped in categories, there was a part of role related questions and then cognitive ability questions, 
And then something they called Googliness, which is just looking at your social skills. Your social skills, like, have you worked with a team? How your skills as a leader, trying to make it explain yourself how you've been a leader before and how you did the leadership thing, because the role has some leadership role in it. Yeah, and I had to explain about uh, one of the challenges we've done that is related to the role. Okay, and uh, how about the rest of the interviews? All of them requested to sign NDAs? Yeah, they, are, they all had, uh, I had to sign an undisclosure agreement on the exact questions. Okay. But no I, I saw some of the questions on the geek, geek to geeks, that, especially the ones for, for testing your problem solving skills. Where you're given a hypothetical questions of, like you have two people who are, uh, four people who are supposed to cross the bridge and they have one torch, so you should know how many times they should cross. One is crossing with eight hours, the other one five hours, the other one one, like that, and they should cross within 15 minutes. Questions like that. I saw them on, is it called Geek on Geek? Something like that. Okay, all right, and uh, so what was the process like? Did you hear from them? Are you progressing to the next stages? I have a session on Wednesday. Oh, you have another one tomorrow? Yes. Okay, all right, super, that's super, all the best. Uh, and of course, keep us updated on the way forward after that one. And yeah, we're rooting for you big time. Um, all right, I think we can even close here unless there is anyone who haven't got the chance to go and they still want to say something. All right. Okay, I guess not. Uh, then uh, let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of our day. Thanks for joining.